have a battle, a oh, well, soccer game, where we have to drive the robot and we have to move the ball into the goal to score a point. What did you guys do before? Um, we had battles where we had to knock off the other team's wheel off of the table. So why did you guys change? To have fun. It took us like five takes for Andrew to say that. So could you explain what went on today? What? <laughs> what? What went on today? We were going to do a battle. <laughs> anyway, Gabe here. And welcome to the next episode of Loyola Robotics. So today the guys decided to do soccer, as Andrew was saying. Now the first dilemma that we face when thinking of doing a soccer match is we wanted to find a way to prevent the ball from rolling off the table. Okay, they're gonna they're setting up oh, the textbooks because we're gonna do a mini and soccer game balls? with robots. About halfway through, after the guys were setting up the field, we kind of realized that textbooks just wouldn't do the trick. You know, they weren't cool enough, really. So Miguel kind of had a substitute idea. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do. Wouldn't what, 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 what this break the table? Should we use those? If you were, no. if you were standing. Think about both sides. If you guys use books, then there's less playing space, you know? And if you only use those little rods, then you guys get more playing space. What little rods? So, what if we crash into them? They're gonna break. They won't crash into them. They're just there so that the balls don't roll off. The ball will go over those. That bat right there was team problem solving to the max. Now, the team ended up compromising, literally. Half the table with books, and the other half the table with the little Lego beams. The question was, do we have enough Lego beams? But we found some. <laughs> now, while some were setting up the field, others were modifying the robots so that could fit this game better. Pretty nice team dynamic going on. Now, after all this was done, kind of realized that we didn't have a soccer ball or any type of ball to play with. Kind of a little oversight. Tiny, tiny little oversight. But we improvise. The soccer ball is gonna be a crumbled up paper because it's that light one. it's lightweight and it won't go crazy. John. Yeah. Oh, it's so <laughs> So now we have this state of the art paper soccer ball that doesn't like roll around like crazy. We kind of didn't see a need for the textbooks or the little plastic beams anymore, so we just got rid of one. But hey, it's a good thing because you know, engineering and, and life itself is full of doings and undoings and doings and undoings and redoings, so no one threw a fit. It was cool. But we are ready to start. Now the rules were basic soccer. Only difference, if you knock the robot off, you lose. And if you knock the ball off, you lose. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen. Let the game begin. Round number one, we have Freddy on the green team, Nelson on the black team. And the black team's on the right side, and the green team's on the left side, and it's going for opposite sides. The black team does start off with an advantage though, because they already have one point. See, they have a rollover point from last time they were in that, so the score is 1-0. It's a really important match for the green team if they want to tie the game and prevent the black team from getting an advantage. They're all yelling at Nelson, though. His cable's getting in the way of the ball. It might knock it off, it might knock it off, and it knocks it off. That is for the green team. Round number two. Jose on the green team and Sue's on the black team. Now this is an important match because right now it's a tie game, so it is the tiebreaker. It's going to determine which team begins to take the lead and Jesus knocks the ball down. That is point for the green team again, 2-1. to one. Will the black team catch up? Round number three. Andrew on the green team and Ivan on the black team. Alright, ready? What side is it? see them fight for the ball in the middle. It seems like the... Green team emerges and the ball's on this side. The black team is vulnerable, but the black team is pushing the robot off, pushing the robot off, and yes, it pushes the green team off the table. 3-1. Oh, 
3 to 1 is the score. The chances for the black team are looking slim, but round number 4, Freddy on the green team and Jesse on the black team. If the black team wins, you guys can still make a tie if you win twice. Error, my almost cynical right, words of encouragement for the black team, and the game begins. Seems like Jesse has a different strategy there. Let's see if it works out. See a change of strategy here. <laughs> and the green team is juked by the black team, but the green team is angry now, so it's pushing through. Ball on the cable, that could be an advantage or disadvantage. The other team members giving their input. You see the excitement here, the excitement of this moment, the green team might actually make the first goal. They're fighting in the middle again, they're fighting in the middle, but the ball, and the ball gets pushed over. But the green team does touch it last, you see the black team celebrating. And it looks that since, since the green team touched it last, the black team won. The black team might catch up. You guys, you guys ready for goal? Yeah! Let's see if we actually see a goal here in the final round. Jose on the green team and Miguel on the black team. It all comes down to this day because if Miguel wins this match, then he ties the game 3-3. Three three. Which doesn't give him a victory, but it doesn't give his team a loss for the day. Now is the green team going to score a goal? No, 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 no. It doesn't seem like it right now. But look, the black team does make a comeback. The green needs this for a victory in the day, but it looks like the green team is stuck by the dust. Now, don't underestimate the green team, though. They have been pretty hard for the day. So maybe they get unstuck, but the question is if it will be before the black team scores. It looks like there might be a black team victory, but the green team is getting unstuck. Will it be a black team victory? Incredible comeback from the black team. The black team does tie the game. It makes the first goal victory for the black team. There you have it, folks. 3-3, three three. tiebreaker next time. That's all we have for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave any feedback and suggestions and opinions and anything in the comments section below. And I'll see you guys next time. I'll leave you guys with a clip of Andrew trying to sneak away from cleanup session. Put that bucket away, guys. And you just, you can just grab it. I'm right here. I'm not that invisible. You guys can't just leave without waiting up. I have visual. Alright, fine.